I'm Pep Fernandez here with SoCal SC head coach Daniel Musati. And coach, you're going into the season, you have your season opener on the road at the City of Angels FC. Are you excited just to play that opener and kind of get that one out of the way? Very excited, very excited. Thank you for having us over here, first thing. Uh, we're very excited. We've been working for six, seven weeks already with this group. It's an amazing group of players, and they're also very excited for the game opener, so season opener. So we're looking forward to uh, have a great match on Saturday and throughout all the season. And coach, I, I feel like this is a United Nations of, of soccer clubs. You have guys, players in San Bernardino from all over the world. Is that pretty neat as a head coach to be able to have guys from all over the place? It's 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 a pleasure. I mean, uh, being myself from outside of the country, uh, soccer is universal. It's an universal sport, and having people from South Korea, Latin America, um, even Europe. So we have a an amalgamation of players from different cultures, and that's what brings a little bit of the spicy of the team. I mean, a little bit of every different aspect of a soccer, whatever it's played. So. How would you describe your brand of soccer as a head coach? What are you hoping to see from your guys? Do you want to play fast? Are you defensive first? How would you describe your brand of soccer? Uh, I used to say that you know the, the wheel has been invented already. Uh, it's just a matter of doing the simple things well done. And with the ball, it's just to keep the possession on the opponent's field, uh, try to create the most possibilities that we can, keep in possession, and without the ball, just marking uh, in my team in our team and, and, and soccer nowadays everyone marks I know that yeah, I come from Brazil where you know forwards they have a hard time adapting to the to the marking situation <laughs> Gotta play defense too, right? yeah, yes. <laughs> but nowadays it's impossible you play without the ball so it's just to do the best and fast thing that you can do with the ball and then uh, without the ball play without the ball as well filling the spaces and playing team and coach, finally, let's do a little name dropping. Who are some of the players that we should watch for going forward this season for SoCal IC that you think will have a big year? Look, that is the most difficult question to answer right now because we have some players that are clearly, uh, they have been more prepared for this because they had a you know, background in the professional teams uh, and doing the academies. Others that are still very young and could be in an academy still. Uh, so. It's hard to give you a name because it changes so much from week to week. Their performance on the field and how they are adapting to everything that we are putting for them. Uh, but we clearly have the players that have been the base from last year. Uh, we have Andy Contreras, number 10. We have Eric Gonzalez, number 18, captain. Uh, a lot of players, I mean, it's hard to give you a name, to be honest with you, because they're, they're keeping with each other every week and competing, you know, healthily against each other every week, so, and raising the level, so that's what we're looking for. All right, so we'll look for some standout players for SoCal SC, opening the season on the road at City of Angels FC, and then their home opener the week after that on the following Saturday on March 25th as they will host, I guess, their Inland Empire rival, Coras, USA exactly, from Riverside. Exactly. We're very excited for this game as well. I uh, had opportunity to saw the last game. They have an amazing team, and it's going to be a pleasure to play against them. It's going to be great soccer. All right, that's SoCal SC head coach Daniel Masati here. We appreciate the time, Coach. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, everyone at home. I appreciate it yourself, too.